everyone. My name is Prano from the IBM QRadar and welcome to this tutorial on setting up QRadar in high availability mode. In this video, we will walk through the steps to ensure your QRadar deployment is resilient and highly available. But first understand that what is high availability mode. If your hardware or network fails, IBM QRadar can continue to collect, store, process event and flow data by using high availability appliance. All right, let's dive in. To create the HA cluster, you will require a primary host system, secondary high availability host, which would be 500 box installation and a virtual IP address to create an HA cluster. If external storage is configured for a primary high availability host, you must also configure the secondary high availability host to use the same external storage option. For more information, see the QRadar upboard storage guide. Ensure that no undeployed changes exist before you create an HA cluster. Now let's configure high availability for QRadar. Once you have logged into the QRadar console, on the navigation menu, you will be able to see admin tab. Click on admin tab. Then click system and license management. Select the host for which you want to configure HA. From the actions menu, select add HA host. Then click on OK. You will be able to see HA wizard window, which guides you through the following steps to configure the high availability cluster. Click on next. In this window, you will need to enter the primary host IP address and secondary host IP address. Primary host IP address. Here you need to enter the primary high availability host IP address. The new IP address replace the previous IP address. The current IP address of the primary HA host becomes the cluster virtual IP address. The new primary high availability host IP address must be on same subnet as virtual host IP address. Important note, for the NAT deployment, use the private IP address of the primary high availability host. Secondary host IP address. Here you need to enter the IP address of the secondary high availability host. The secondary high availability host must be on the same subnet as the primary high availability host. Important note. For the NATED deployment, use the private IP address of the secondary high availability host. Enter the root password of the host. You need to enter the root password of secondary high availability host. As the virtual IP is already in deployment, primary IP address is free and it does not have any host. Hence, secondary host password is required for replication. Confirm the root password of the host. Here you need to enter the same password of the secondary host. Then click on show advanced option. Heartbeat intervals. This is the time in seconds that you want to elapse between heartbeat pings. The default is 10 seconds. Heartbeat timeout. This is the time in seconds that you want to elapse before the primary high availability host is considered unavailable if no heartbeat is detected. The default is 30 seconds. Network connectivity test. List peer IP address. This is the IP address of the host that you want the secondary HA host to ping. The default is to ping all managed hosts in the QRadar deployment. Disk synchronization rate. This is the disk synchronization rate. The default is 100 Mbps. For the console creating the HA cluster, we will keep the advanced option as default. Then click on next. In this window, you need to confirm the high availability wizards option. Once you confirm the primary host IP address and secondary host IP address, then click on finish. Now, as you can see that the console is now started configuring in high availability. Wait for some time till it gets completed.
Once you are able to see that the console HA configuration is completed, close this window and check for any undeployed changes. On the navigation menu, click on Advanced, then click Deploy Full Configuration. Deploy Full Configuration is to enable network connectivity test. Click on Continue. Wait till the deployment gets completed. After deploy full configuration, you can check in system and license management. Here you can check that the console now is in high availability mode, where your primary console is in active state and your secondary console is in standby state. HA configuration is completed successfully. Thank you.